So, I packed a bag, heading out to the woods, just for a walk. Don't know the sound quality because I haven't got my microphone with me. But I packed my bag with fragrances that I think cuts through this kind of weather. As you can see, <laughs> here's an old football field. I used to train on that field a lot. It is not grass, it is sand and stuff like that, stones. As we do it here in the north where the grass don't always grow. <laughs> so I just picked, ran not randomly, I choose fragrances that I think really has a good longevity, good projection, cuts through the cold. But I'm just gonna dive right in my bag and pick up the first fragrance I get up to talk about it. It's gonna be a surprise for me as well because I'm not 100% sure of what I packed with me. So gonna pause you a little bit and open my bag. The first one I got hold on was Spice Surprise by Sweetoff. You know, this is a strong fragrance. It isn't going to be for everybody, but you have such a lovely cinnamon in this one with the added wine. Because it is inspired from the wine that we found in um, the ancient rooms. Great longevity, great unisex fragrance. Check it out. The next one I got hold on was Mento from Theodore's Calatinis. Now, here you have a lovely vanilla, can't, you can't see me probably. Here you got a lovely vanilla with, I believe it is vetiver as well. So it is such an unusual thing as a vanilla fragrance that smells very, very masculine. Very good one, great longevity as well. Maybe not the best, around eight hours, but it does cut through these cold weather circumstances. <laughs> I had to put you down here for a bit guys because it's freezing and my hands are very very cold so just let's see what I can pick up next next oh we have a staple I lost the cap in here in my bag anyway you do know what it is Nishan Ani how can you go wrong with Nishan Ani in these circumstances truly truly a lovely fragrance let's see what we more have oh this one Santal wood from Theodore's Calatinis, one of my most complimented fragrances. Uh, lots of santal, lots of woods. I believe there's over 40 ingredients in this one, so a lot of woods. But I also such a very nice rum in here that comes forward after an hour. So no, I gotta move on, so I get home, so I can get home at some time because I have to clear you up. <laughs> it's freezing. It's a what fucking crazy idea was this <laughs> anyway i'm enjoying myself i hope you enjoyed this video i will stop a little bit further up and talk about some more of the fragrances i don't actually know what fragrances there are in still in here uh, so let's discover that in just a bit, minute next one we're going to talk a little bit about we don't need to talk so much about it spice bomb extreme you all already know everything about it what can I say that maybe somebody hasn't said before? Maybe it's, I think it's a little bit juvenile. I think it's more appropriate for an age group of 20 to 30. That's my thoughts. I still wear it even if I'm 44, but because I always don't care about those stuff. But I've got a feeling that I think it is a little bit juvenile. So we're still heading into the deep forest. Nice surroundings here. Anyway, I'm gonna move on. Next up is something unusual. TRNP de Aguila. Why is it unusual? Well, it is a Fujia, but it is a Fujia with extremely good power. Projection wise, <laughs> it's, it's not even measurable. It's so strong that my wife has forbidden me to use it in house. I can use it if we're going out, then it's okay, because for the first two hours <laughs> it's strong, so strong. And a great longevity as well, for this it's packed with lavender, it's packed with 
juicy, I believe. Honeysuckle, so it has some sweetness as well. TRNP Diaglia, you really need to check it out. Next one, here is something for the ladies. Legovant Tinari. Now, this is a clone, you can say, of uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. It is a good clone. I do get a headache of it when I wear it myself, but I do love it when my wife wears it. So, go check it out. Price worthy, not as good projection, not as good longevity as the original, but still very good and very good value for your money about this one. Now, whew, I'm soon at the top of this little hill. I hopefully find something there where I can put my phone down properly and show you the rest of the fragrances that I'm carrying along because I want to head home, <laughs> give me some, uh, a nice coffee maybe or something like that. Something warm, hot choco, oh, hot choco with marshmallows. That would be great. Now, hopefully I can put you down here. I guess this will have to do. It is what we have to work with. Let's dive into my bag. I do know I still have some. Yeah, I saw the blue bottle here. It's actually my scent of the day. It is ivory root from the JTC line of Sergio. <laughs> so amazing. This, in a strange way, it kind of sometimes reminds me of uh, Rehab by Initio. Um, probably the, the sandalwood in Rehab as well, but I believe it isn't listed in this one, but I do strongly believe that you can find a hint of tobacco in it as well. Now, what else do we got? I know there is something more. Uh, here we have it. <laughs> Don't know if you can see it. Initio Absolute Aphrodisiac. I showed you Mento before. That is a fragrance um, that is vanilla forward and yet stays masculine. I can say the same thing about this one, but this one is more unisex. It isn't as masculine, it's more unisex, but it is the animalistic notes in this one that really gives it a punch, that gives it the edge that you need. And boy, it is powerful, definitely cuts through this weather. I believe that was all for today. I'm gonna check real close. No, here I found another one that I put in. I talked about the brand before, Niche Roll Patchouli TB. No. <laughs> uh, Carlisle Red Tobacco, in that genre this fragrance is. Yet again, this is so powerful, so strong. I wore, wore it to work for a couple of uh, weeks ago, last week I believe. I put it on before I left home. Five sprays, five sprays is too much. Stop at four sprays with this one because it is very power, powerful and you can't escape it with five sprays. But four sprays, just enough, just the right amount for me at least. So, niche for all. Patchouli TB will be the last one we talk about today, I believe. So, what all these fragrances have in common that I'm talking about today is that they are powerful. They do have a great power to them. They do reach out. They do go through this cold weather. They do go through this snowfall. But they're also all easy to like. Except maybe Spice Surprise. Spice Surprise can, isn't for everybody, but it is... It isn't the most challenging one either, but you have to like cinnamon to be able to appreciate that one. Leave in the comment section down below. Do you think this was a good video? Do you maybe want me to talk? Do, did you wish that I talked more about one of, of, of these particular fragrances? Or was it just fine mentioning it? Because my idea is just to show you the fragrances that I think cuts through this weather and that are easy to like. So, hit me up with that in the comment sections. Tell me if there's something particular you want me to do as far as fragrance videos. If there's a particular fragrance you want me to review or if there is a particular subject you wish me to do. So, that will be all. Until the next time everybody, you know what to do. Stay safe and be well. Bye!